So hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at 8.1.0 Oreo TouchWiz ROM for our Galaxy J7 2016. Yes, you guys heard right, it's for our Galaxy J7 2016. Uh, let's go to Swift information and here you can see it's Android version 8.1.0 and it's the original 8.1.0 by Samsung and this is the J7 NXT firmware ported and the ROM is named as Oreo Fusion port. So let's take a look at it in this video. <laughs> Let's, let's take a look at the launcher now the launcher is not that like change from no cut let's go into the home screen settings you can see the same old settings we got from no cut but some extra like the quick open notification panel and here we have the home screen app screen different grids app buttons app icon badges hide apps you can hide apps to hide the apps we have the quick open notification panel so just swipe uh, swipe down to get the notification panel. also guys this ROM is fully debluted it means that we don't get those shit apps extra apps by Samsung we there get those apps which are only needed then let's go into about phone and here it's written Oreo Fusion I just edited to JSON 2016 going to software info it's original Android 8.1.0 Oreo how to make sure just press this this is not any spoofed thing so yeah this is laggy because we have a JSON 2016 back old from 2016 so it may lag some it's not here we have the build number just tap it to enable developer options we have the latest June 1 security patch provided by Samsung and you can see it is running on the quantum kernel by uh, Prashant and this is the version 1 kernel and this is for our Oreo Fusion ROM Build. overall there is no change unlike no get we get from marshmallow like it's all same all same stuff here but when you visit the settings get here a rounded icon uh, sorry the rounded search bar and this icon this is our user profile uh, but it opens Wi-Fi I don't know why oh my god this user profile thing opens Wi-Fi so that may be a bug but into the connections we get the normal things into sound and vibrations same stuff we get some new uh, maybe oh it's the same old uh, thing the touch sound okay working then we have this sound quality and effects okay so the sampling equalizer is present in the display uh, we get this blue light filter that doesn't work yep it doesn't work then we have the front screen and zoom and we also get a lot of extra fonts if you have uh, like if you go through the installation and then take a look at the options like I'm going to show the installation afterwards but there's an option for the font mod so you need to select that's why this is loading uh, I think it won't take long okay so you can see we have a lot of fonts to apply so you can just after installing just choose anything of them and uh, that may be really busy and you can see we have this modes the color balance you have the icon frames the screen timeout the normal stuff into status bar we get the same stuff then taking a look at the advanced features we don't have nothing much Redable messenger swipe to call message send and we have this one-handed mode so all same now what's new is this into the lock screen we have this clock style just take a look at how much clock styles like we get the new clock styles I have set this one so let's change and take a look done and yeah here we have this clock style changed you also have this face widgets today's schedule next alarm weather I can see we can just swipe here okay now how to swipe for the face widgets here so I'm using the good lock lock screen actually not the normal one we have this contact information oops that will be on the lock screen I have shortcuts you can change but I'm using the good lock lock screen so okay add it again now let's go to the security we have this security update thing here install unknown apps normal stuff here we don't get that much of new thing then software updates but it's a custom ROM so it won't be supporting software updates now we have this bad log this is an unofficial good log thing you can see good log app to launch the good log apps sorry so that means it's an unofficial thing so 
yeah but it works well so we have this routine plugin if you want you can install it then we have this task manager like this uh, recent panels we get now I have just I'm just using uh, like using this mini mode you get this mini so if you enjoy this you can use and if you want your old task changer here you are just uh, disable that so okay let's go uh, again to the bad log quick star go to coloring and you can theme your system UI here you can see like some pre-applied recommendations uh, but I think we need to turn this off we need to apply it and then it will be like this so let's see if it's applied here you can see the theme has been applied so yeah that's great with a simple indicator and here you can hide indicators like mobile data and see how the mobile data gets hidden then we also have the battery and the battery percentage got hidden getting back notification multi window so you can open multi window like apps from the notification and we have this lock start change your lock screen you can set unlock type to swipe down swipe up or swipe left swipe up so you to swipe up to unlock your screen so this is how app shortcut interaction use system clock so if I change this if I disable this it will use this good lock clock so this is the good lock clock and we have the keep system wallpaper option you can change it then we have the clock face which I already showed you and this M Easter egg and yeah just for time pass then going into media volume now you can set custom volume limit here now when you choose uh, earphones or bluetooth audio devices or headphones when you plug them in we get this uh, limit so you can just set it by default and also you can set pin to add it. so that's really cool to set your like it will save your ears from bleeding and yep that's it for this uh, video about the J7 2016 Oreo ROM okay let me show you that the camera is also working so yep you can see it takes pictures we have the stickers we have this continuous shot and the camera is fully working so no issues that is great here's the selfie camera okay okay and yeah stickers we have the white selfie and all other stuff so this is a fully working a.1.0 oreo touch with rom which is the oreo fusion for our galaxy s116 and i hope you guys will love this video and also this rom now let's start with the installation of this you need to boot into twrp recovery so if you are on any other rom just power off your device for first now press the volume up the home and the power button to boot into twrp recovery now into the options go to wipe if you want to backup you can backup your older data just go to wipe afterwards system data case swipe to wipe no need to wipe internal storage or micro sd then go to the installation of the oreo fusion rom now here we have a roma installer so you need to choose some options here so let's quickly go through next agree next currently is the same I need to choose this of your own so I'm using audio boost good luck if you want then I'm using my options here uh, okay I haven't installed the GRX thing in the last like I'm so it's just the GRX touch with the extra options we get and that's it for the installation yep it will take just uh, like two three minutes to get so let's wait for it now after the installation is done just uh, so that thing is just installed so the, the click on that and then just finish reboot now yes and if you want to flash any root you can flash magisk so yeah it will be rooted by magisk so now let it boot and yeah then you will enjoy the android oreo experience like 8.1.0 samsung Samsung 9.5 on your galaxy json 2016 and I hope you guys like this video. So yeah, if you guys really like this video, press the like button. If not, press the dislike button. Subscribe for more videos on the Galaxy JSN 2016. And I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Please subscribe. Bye.